Hey Kiora guys, welcome. Let's see what collective consciousness has in store for us for April 2016. If you've been following this particular card layout, you'll know what it's all about. If not, and you're new to viewing it, sit back and join in. Leave your comments and your interpretations on what you feel the cards mean as well. Always keen to hear everyone's insight and input into this collective consciousness particular draw. I've put those two crystals in that you see, a lapis lazuli and a cat's eye. They seem to be polar opposite polarity of each other. So whether or not that's a kind of a, um, an essence for the month coming up, we'll just have to wait and see. So let's do a little bit of shuffling of the cards and see what's in store for us all. So this is the Earth Prediction Series using the Psy cards which were devised under the psychological um, information, if you like, of Carl Jung or Jung. Never quite sure how to say his surname. Okay, let's get into it. Peace. Well, that's a nice card to start off with. The Sage. He's been here a little bit lately. The Prison. I think the Prison has been as well. The Inquirer. And The Stranger. Okay, and the last card on the bottom of the deck was the home as well, which falls back into the Inquirer's zone. So if we just start over here on the left hand side and we have the Peace card, we can look at that as a beautiful card to look at. It appears to be set in perhaps um, the atrium of an old building, possibly a church. And the word Peace should exemplify those particular energies but I have found with this particular deck and these readings that we do here with the Earth Prediction series that peace usually means the very opposite. So we head into April with that being the first card um, suggesting that we might be in for a turbulent month. Now often it means disturbance of peace at many levels, including the physical here on the planet. So it can indicate just tensions, global tensions. Um, the same type of energetic feel as the skills card, as in that can be warring. Now that, you know, this can be physical warring combat or hand-to-hand -hand combat, or it can be political combat even. So there's just a lack of stability in the arena of peace. The other thing that I really note quite strongly on this card are these beautiful rays of light that come down and shine on this um, Mandela light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> so there is light at the end of the tunnel, but often this um, denotes solar light from the sun. And I often think when this card is around that we can get some sort of really strong activity from the sun, which could be flare activity directed at us here on Earth or even just within our solar system and perhaps at some of the other planets. Or it could be other activity on the sun such as um, coronal holes that are particularly strong that create Earth energetic reactions or the solar flares, or there could be comets that come in, large enough comets that are, um, strike our sun, or just other anomalies. Now, if you follow Suspicious Observers on YouTube, he's got an amazing team of very authoritative people, just like this here in the Sage, learning about how the sun affects us here on Earth, and consequently in the whole solar system. So often when we get huge CMEs directed at Earth, you can get things like the Carrington event that happened back in the 1800s, I think it was, where such a huge burst of electrical current directed at us can sometimes be too significant for our electronics to cope with. So we can get blackouts or um, failures in our technological data. 
Now given that there's another card in this reading called the prison and we see again this ray of sun coming down and I actually see this crystal sitting on the top of it which is bright yellow kind of like the sun and it comes down as well. I'm thinking there's a double impact here of energy from the sun and that's the messages within the reading. So keep your eye really connected to the sun. I'll put a link in for suspicious observer's channel for you to follow him if you don't already and take note to see if any comets um, do sun diving activities or new comets are found or irregular or strong solar activity on our planet. It can also create storms here on the planet, really large tropical storms and it can also um, send uh, elevated earthquake instances. So we come to the sage, we've had him in the month of March, he often again portends to technological information or celestial information. He seems to be designing something here in this um, book and it often makes me think of astronomy up in the skies, so information to do with the travelling out into space or the awareness of objects in our space, new celestial information coming to us or travelling or um, technological data along those lines as well. It can also be a political figure on the earth that um, brings us to our attention or um, could literally be the Pope as well. Something along that, some major religious figure. The prison we see as being trapped and stuck underground. So we have underground energies coming which can be volcanic. Now that's another thing that the sun can create a huge flare up in volcanic activity. Um, this can be people stuck underground in buildings or trapped, um, locked into something, confined, cannot get out of, cannot escape, feeling closed in or locked down. There could be a degree of um, fear or anxiety or depression also with this type of energy around in the month and remember we're talking quite specifically here about the solar energy as well. The sun does affect us hugely as uh, living beings on the planet. We come to these two cards, it's the Inquirer and the Home card and I often when I do these readings think of this as pertaining to me being the Inquirer, so I live in New Zealand so there's a potentiality for something to happen to New Zealand within this time frame that um, you know makes headlines one way or another. We are a quake ridden country, we sit on very shaky isles and we have quite high volcanic activity as well so there's a possibility that any of those could be um, in, engaged. I also see the fires and the animals, so I think of fires, not necessarily just New Zealand but other areas, So um, and also animals, we've had that, we're getting mass animal die-offs nearly every month now, anyhow there could be more of that coming. We come to the stranger and he hiding behind a closed door. So he often suggests to me communism, he wears a glove on his hand and I think of a gloved hand for the, for the communist realm, I'm not sure why. So we sometimes think of the communist countries involved here in activities that either are untoward or perhaps shouldn't be occurring. A classic one here is North Korea, it could be also um, China or Russia or any of the other communist type of country energies, there could even be Cuba, which we know we're getting more positive alignment there between um, the sanctions being lifted and the back in communication and sort of travelling and energetic areas with the rest of the world. So the other thing that the stranger talks about again is just hidden agendas, stuff going on behind closed doors but somehow possibly it opens up. There might be someone new that comes onto the scene into um, an arena that is a global arena. I'm thinking here I wonder if something in the political party in America opens up like a new stranger comes in or some sort of evidence is shown to us that wasn't available before. That's often the feeling of that card as well. So as we can see we have um, 
quite a lot of space type energy in these first three cards here in the beginning of the month for April so I really do feel there is some involvement with the solar activity and new information or dealing of space in the first part of April whether or not to the whole um, astrology whether we have particular strong astrological lineups for the month that might be something to think of as well because that often has implications and complications for us on the planet so hey thanks guys for tuning in and listening i really appreciate it i hope you enjoy these readings they are as i say connected to collective consciousness and in the end that is actually how we all work and what is going on on the planet take care everyone have a great april leave your comments and I'll see you later. Ka kitia noa, much aroha, namaste.